That looks to be a fair way finder to me. Well, Rich, this looks like a familiar spot for this player. Unfortunately, it is the same as yesterday. Hopefully, they've put the results yesterday away. Going with the eight iron here. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Well hold. Leading by a shot after that hole. Oh, and they increase their lead. This is impressive, Luke, but can they hold up this play? And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. John, talk to us. What do you got for us? Well, we're on the 12th hole, guys. This is Bryson DeChambeau's next shot. Setting up here for a 37 feet putt. Get in. Oh, so close. This one from about 160 yards out. Going with the six iron here. Wow, what a shot. That's a golf shot. As opposed to a cricket shot? Or tennis. Badminton. Or, yeah, yep. true. Croquet. Croquet. Yeah, snooker. Line bowling. Whatever. Oh, I got you. Yeah. It's lots of shots. Good shot in there. I like their chances for making birdie. Leading by a couple after that hole. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honour on the hole. That swing reminded me of smooth jazz. Great rhythm. You can hear the excitement in the air. It's starting to build. Moments ago, a beautiful shot happened on the course. Let's take a look at it. Tony Finau has got plenty of power, but he's also got plenty of finesse. When a player hits a shot of that caliber, you just want to have another look, don't you? Let's get back to it, shall we? 
This shot here near the 200 yard marker. Opting for the five wood. Oh, absolutely flushed. Well, this is a long way from downtown, but you're closer. John, what's he got in front of him? I'm thinking 28 feet to the cup from here. Oh, what a great stroke. Well, that should limit the damage. Nicely done. Well, that's worth a replay. Let's take another look. Now, two shots up after that one. Now teeing off on this par four hole. Standing on this par four and leading. What's the strategy? What's going on through their mind? Attack it or lay back? Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. Luke, that did not end up where you said it was going to. It's in the rough. Ooh, that almost went down. Five feet coming up to the cup. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. Look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard. Leading by three strokes now. You've reached the 11th hole, and the tee is yours. Well, I like the look of the line here. It should find the fairway. Time to recap Bryson DeChambeau's effort from just a little while ago. I got to say, his short game is one of the best in the game. Great putt. Time for the second shot at the 11th. Coming off a string of four birdies. <laughs> oh, 
You liked that, didn't you? Putting for birdie. Well, you're going to be hard to catch now if you keep making putts like that. Leading by four strokes after that one. You've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. Good birdie on the last. What's in store now? Oh, this one looks to be heading down the runway. Second shot here on the 12th. Game with the five iron here. That's some good golf right there. Well, this is one of those lengthy putts. John, how do you see it? This putt's looking right around 28 feet, I'd say. This one looking really good. And that putt will drop, and he'll extend his lead. Why not take another look at that effort? Give us an update. What's shaking? Well, guys, I'm down here on the 13th, and Tony Finau's just getting ready to hit. How close was that to going down? That's a wonderfully played chip shot there. Got to say, his short game is phenomenal. Our current leader enjoys a five-shot advantage. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. Oh, that's a high caliber shot and this shot from about 150 yards out looks to have opted for the eight iron oh this one's right down the pipe And he's safely on the green with that shot. There's a long way, but I tell you what, I've seen it happen before, so there's a chance. Looking 
great now. Dee's making this look easy. Keeps surging ahead. And let's have one more look at that shot. Now six shots in front after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. Look, this player coming off a birdie on the last hole, getting some momentum going their direction. to be going with the five iron. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? John, what's going on out there? Hey, fellas, I'm on the 18th hole. This is Bryson DeChambeau. Spot the all-important top five awaits if you can hold this putt. Big chance here. Yeah. Okay, let's get back to the action. 12 feet to the cup coming up. Get excited. This could go in. That was a gallant attempt. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. And that puddle drop. Well done. Now, five shots up after that hole. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. <laughs> well struck. And now intrepid on course reporter, John standing by. Well, I'm over on the 16th hole. This is Tony Finau's next shot. Oh my, how about that for a par? And that'll promote a good move up the standings. And back to the course with the live action. Playing this shot from about 180 yards. Terrific shot into the 15th and a chance for birdie. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at birdie coming up. Hey, that's a chance. And that will drop in for birdie. Leading by six strokes after that one. Just a few holes to play. Let's see how you handle the 16th hole.
Oh, that looked like a bit of an ugly swing there. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. What a shame. Has hit a lot of greens today, just not on this occasion. Oh, almost went in. Putting for par. And well hold. Let's move on. Our leader is up by a whopping six shots now. This hole is a par five. Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. Time for the second shot at the 17th. Oh, well played. And here we are with the third shot. Let's have a look at Patrick Cantlay. Getting ready to play their third. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Are you kidding me? That'll help make a big move. Let's return to live play now. Oh, this will be a big birdie here. Good putt to make. Looking really good. And he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hold. That shot's so good, we need to have another look. Leading by a whopping seven shots after that one. Time to step on your tee shot here at this long par four.
Second shot here at the 18th. Looks like they've got the five wood. It's fair to say that wasn't their best shot. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. And here we are with the third shot. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Oh, well played. Yes. Very smooth tempo there on that chip. This one's looking good. And with that, this round comes to a close. And through 36 holes, this player continues to shine out there in top spot. They're feeling awfully good about their game, aren't they? But there's lots of golf left to play. They need to make sure they go out and continue to play in the front foot and try and get this thing done. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam, and on behalf of all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, it's goodbye for now.